talking about the surgery. The, 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 the percentage of the human worms. beings. Half of Brazil has the yeah, has the brain worm that makes you basically psychotic. Well, it doesn't make you psychotic. It makes it you risk taking yes, crazy. It affects your judgment. This is toxic. It programs you to want to have more cats, smell piss. Yes. Well, it definitely does that to to rats. It actually reprograms rats' brains, makes them sexually attracted. And, and there's to the a smell bunch of, of parasites. Piss. Yes, there's a bunch of them, and there's some that probably haven't even been identified. And that's where the whole crazy cat lady thing comes from. Yes, that's exactly what it is. It's one of the reasons why they tell women when they're pregnant to stay the fuck away from cat litter. Don't touch cat litter. Don't go anywhere near cats. Get it. Yes, you, you, I mean it's it can be actually fatal for babies. But, but what I'm Goes trying back to get to the Middle at, Ages when they said kill yes. the damn cats. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of factors there, right? See, but old wives' tales were like, you get demon possessed by that cat, and really, it's a damn brain worm. Well, that's probably also why they told you not to eat pork. And that's science fiction. That's a real brain worm programming you. Like you were saying earlier, it's tr I looked at it's true. I didn't even know that yeah. that the top soccer teams have the highest level of brain worm infestation. Well, it's there's a disproportionate amount of people that live in countries where the high toxoplasmosis infection with su successful soccer teams. There was some study that was done on that where uh, we had uh, Dr. Sure, Robert well, like, like women. That have it are more sexually promiscuous. Yes. Uh, they, they just, it's, yes. it's recklessness. Yes, and they think the men are more reckless, and that's why there's a disproportionate amount of motorcycle victims that uh, test positive for toxoplasmosis. This is what uh, Robert Sapolsky out of Stanford University was telling us. Is there a way to remove? I don't think there the is. Brain worm, yeah. I don't think there is. I well, think, you know, there's like snails that get a brain worm that programs to go to the top of a tree, so birds eat it. Yeah. And then and then it's crapped out, and then the snails eat that, and then go, and it's a food cycle. Yes, yes. So how, don't tell me in classic evolution, and I don't also believe the interpretation by, by right-wingers of, of the Bible, that's not what it says. I mean, obviously, evolution happens in big, quick jumps, but we know it's going on. But the idea that just there's worms and there's all these different well, like you're talking about the, the one that gets into a grasshopper. The Tell aquatic about worm. That. The aquatic worm gets inside of a grasshopper's body and gets the grasshopper to commit suicide. Gets the grasshopper to jump into water and drown, and then it comes out of its body, and that's where it, it lives. It lives in the water, so it literally gets its host to commit so suicide. So how did that chain of events? <sighs> how does that evolve? Where suddenly a worm gets in a grasshopper and does something. A supercomputer couldn't do it, it programs to drown itself well this is a matter of complex biology i mean so i think it's insanely complex and it's something that scientists are studying on a daily basis we're going to get to that coming up because i'm going to because i don't want to just talk about me all day 